The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Cap Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm going to conduct a features inspection on a shallow running fishing boat, the Shallow Sport X332. This particular model is powered by twin Evinrude E-Tech G2300s that should provide excellent fuel economy and performance. The G2s are a great choice for this boat as they provide for such a clean installation. With the steering now integrated into the engine, there are no hydraulic cylinders, rams, or lines to clutter up the stern, just four bolts. This leaves much more room for the boat's rigging. Plus, the pivot point on the trim is such that we can be close to the dock, yet still tilt the engine enough to get the props out of the water. This is a great feature for when it comes time to inspect your props. Also, notice how these engines are also attached to a single jack plate to lessen the draft even more. Six inches in this case. The cowls are color matched to the boat, and that's an easy thing to do as these engines come with the ability to choose separate colors for the top panel, side panels, and even the trademark Evinrude swoosh. Now, we weren't able to test this boat on the day of our walkthrough, but the design team at Shallow Sport has tested it, and they report that with the twin 300 E-Tech G2 spooled up to 5,500 RPM, the Shallow Sport X332 reached its top speed of 45 miles per hour. Now, that's with a three-bladed prop. With a four-bladed prop, they reached 49 miles per hour. Best economic cruise came in at 4,500 RPM and 37 miles per hour. At that speed, the 27.75 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 1.33 miles per gallon and a range of 300 miles. Again, while we can't validate these numbers, they are impressive nonetheless, and they're largely due to the impressive fuel economy of the Evinrude E-Tech G2. There are several attributes that lead to this sort of efficiency, and most have to do with the E-Tech G2 technology. Among these are the efficient combustion chamber design, a state-of-the-art direct injection system, placement of the injectors near the spark plugs, low friction design, and many other elements, all of which make the Evinrude G2 engines one of the most fuel-efficient outboard engines on the market. Additionally, these E-Tech G2 engines have among the best torque curves in the industry. This boat had an 8,000-pound dry weight, and when the throttles were shoved down, she reached planing speed in an average of 6.5 seconds. This is because the E-Tech two-stroke technology allows for a power stroke on every turn of the crankshaft, while four-stroke engines only have one power stroke out of four strokes and two turns of the crankshaft. The more horsepower that's available at the low RPM range, say from 500 to 2500, the more torque that is applied to the crankshaft and the greater the torque. It's at the dock, though, where she really shines. Thanks to the G2s having the integrated steering, it's a simple matter to add the iDock joystick to allow effortless docking. We found the system to be well dialed in, everything moves as expected, and we could even combine movements of the joystick. Move to one side and then add a twist to rotate as we slide sideways. Nothing is off the table now. As for her features, we'll start with the cockpit. It includes C-Deck decking in a light color that matches the upholstery highlights. Padded bolsters start at 15 inches and top out at 23 inches, and they just surround the cockpit, not the whole boat. Four rod holders are in the starboard cap rail, two are to port. Two storage compartments are at the sides. The transom includes tuna tubes to both sides. The covers store behind, just in front of the two sets of five rod holders. A live well is located between the two sets of tuna tubes. The aft deck includes brackets to hold down a 75-quart Yeti cooler for your raw bait. And here's a neat feature. The outriggers are used to support a bimini top, providing shade for the entire cockpit area. Moving forward, there's an aft-facing bench seat, custom embroidered with two-tone upholstery and diamond stitching. Storage is under the seat. Just above is a hatch concealing a freshwater washdown plumped to a 12-gallon tank. Above, there are two levels of rod holders totaling 14. Our look at the helm starts with a view ahead which, while good, we've seen better. It's a narrow gap between the overhead e-box and the console. This space also includes the hardtop supports, integrated beverage holders, and on our boat, a holder for an iPad. The panel houses a pair of 12-inch Simrad Evo 3 multifunction displays that here we've got set to display the engine information. This is also dedicated on the Evinrude Icon color touchscreen display. It's a versatile display that gives a wealth of information at a glance and also allows for customizing the steering and trim. The steering wheel is stainless with a steering knob and mounted to a tilt base. We counted three and a half turns from lock to lock, but remember, with the Icon screen, we can control the number of turns and the feedback. The jack plate control is just to the left. To the right is a Simrad Autopilot and the trim tab rockers. The Evinrude engine controls allow for a host of features, including RPM tune speed assist, single lever control is possible due to the sync button, and engine sync matching the speeds of all engines. 
I also appreciate the neutral detent and the indicator lights as additional feedback. Alongside that is the iDock joystick making docking a breeze, and I like the positioning allowing for facing aft while maneuvering the stick. Below is a flip footrest and the enclosed battery switches. Behind is bench seating with four beverage holders across the top. We see more of the diamond stitching in the two-tone upholstery. The seat does not lift, but instead, to port, there's a cockpit refrigerator, while to the opposite side are tackle sorters, drawer storage, spool, and tool holders. Overhead is an impressive hardtop that includes the large electronics box, outrigger supports, LED spreader lights fore and aft, and a long forward-facing LED light bar. All of this is supported by heavy-duty hardware that consists of inch and a quarter grab rails and two and a quarter inch tube stock. To the port side of the console, there's an access door with beefy hardware. Inside is a modest berth and ample storage. In front of the console, there's a double-wide lounge seat. It includes custom embroidery, diamond stitching, raised armrests to the outboard sides, and integrated beverage holders in the center. The back half of this is still under the protection of the extended overhead. The bow is well suited for fishing with a raised platform. A center step eases the transition from deck level. The sides come out 5 feet 2 inches, while the narrowest measurement at the front is 6 feet 4 inches wide. And with the bulwarks and rails, this has the feel of a very secure area. Storage is in three compartments with flush-mounted hatch hardware, tension hinges hold the hatches open, and all the openings are gasketed against water intrusion. Still another hatch is in the deck just behind, leading to even more storage. If we want to be at a higher level for casting, the foredeck is another 12 inches up, and a hatch leads to an anchor locker. This hatch being right in the center of the deck creates the use for an optional windlass under the hatch and the anchor running through the stem, which further puts the emphasis on casting. The hatch opens with a turn and lock latch and again tension hinges hold it open. A pull-up cleat just ahead ensures a clean and snag slash trip free surface. Well, in our opinion, the Shallow Sport X332 is a powerful fishing rig well suited for skinny water work. She's got a 16-inch static draft and a 12-inch on-plane draft, and the technology of the E-Tech G2 with its onboard oil tank, better torque throughout the power band, and cleanest emissions overall make this boat even better. And that's my look at the Shallow Sport X332 powered by the twin 300 horsepower Evernote E-Tech G2 outboards. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. All right.